going on, YouTubers? We're gonna try out this air skin dozer blade for the skid steer today. Works pretty slick on the controls on the functionality of it, so we'll see how it pushes. Problem is, when I have, I don't know where the hell my little gator clamp thing went, so you guys are in for a bumpy ride. Let's see if I can. tested the dozer blade on the skid steer. Now, mash this all up, edit the video all up and all that stuff, but here's the deal. So as you can see, when I'm going back and forth with the dozer blade, and then compared to the regular blade, it's basically, it's like twice as slow, I feel, with the dozer blade, and I'm, I'm a lot faster with the regular bucket. So upon first pushes, it actually works pretty good. Works better than I had expected. Okay, the thing actually works a lot better than I expected it to. It's pretty stout, it's an Erskine. We'll set the camera up. Now, part of that is because I don't have any. That was my first half an hour's worth of experience with the dozer blade on a skid steer. If you don't have experience operating a bulldozer and try this thing, you're gonna hate it. You're not going to like it. It's going to take a lot longer to learn how to use. Um, if you've already got experience running a dozer and you go to this, it's pretty. It's really easy to get the hang of if you've had experience running a dozer in the past. But other than that, you're really going to have some challenges, I think. It, it's not like you can't do it. I'm just saying your, your learning curve is going to be a lot higher if you don't have experience with a dozer. on it the width is really great that you you've got an extra uh, that's 96 inches that particular one was and the bucket is 80 inches so you've got 16 more inches which is is kind of nice when you're doing driveways and things like that but again like I really feel that for me and for what I'm used to and I'm open to other things that the best combination I have right now is the bucket and the Harley rake and I mean over that combination over box blades box scrapers for skid steers um, 
the dozer blades with the front wheels in them as far as to, to get things on grade and level you're better off you're just better off using the bucket like you're just better off using the bucket i've watched the david's dozer videos i've watched like every single other youtube video out there with dozer blades on skid steers and i, I just i watch them and i think man i could probably do that just as fast if not faster with a bucket um I, that's just me i but i do have a lot of experience and, and a lot of hours on skid steer so all right so a couple things to remember when you're watching the part with using the dozer blade the dozer blade portion of this using that testing that out demoing it took about 20 minutes i think like 18 18 20 minutes to actually do that grading with now remember this is my first time ever using a dozer blade on the skid steer not I don't know if it's, I shouldn't say it's not as easy to get used to as a dozer, but it's more challenging to use the dozer blade on the skid steer than it is on a dozer. Still can get probably proficient at it, pretty used to it, but note on there. about eight minutes so ten minutes less time about half half the amount of time to use the bucket to do roughly the same type of work I cut it um, now as far as getting angles and doing ditch lines with the bucket I have my own way of doing that I'll cut and dig a little bit of a trench for one side of the track to get into or find an angle on the yard that the, that the machine will sit on that is the angle that I want for the ditch, the hill slope, any of that. So that's how I do that with the skid steer and I just back my way out or work my way from you know the back to the front, front to the back, whatever, uh, wherever you're gonna finish with that machine. Final verdict for the dozer blade for a skid steer is a big no. Not going to do it, even though that one was new and it's a good deal. Uh, it's like three or four years old, but it's been, you know, there's a reason why guys don't have them and there's a reason why you use a dozer for a lot of things. Um, I think a dozer is just a lot better way to go. Um, not for all applications, and a skid steer can do a lot but well, they can do a lot with that bucket if you, if you know how to use it. looking for a dozer blade for a skid steer I just would not recommend it you're better off spending your time in the seat of the skid steer learning how to use your bucket to grade you can do uh, I mean I can do everything that I need to do with the bucket that the dozer blade would do every single thing from grading the only thing where I might 
run into a problem is a really tight angled ditch line. But even then, I, I've done ditch lines. I've done a lot of like narrow, small spaces, and I can still get it done with the with just the bucket. So say no if you're looking into one of these again. I just would not recommend spending the five to six grand. Um, you just get some more experience, and I don't even think that a tilt attach is that much of a benefit because you can. There's always a way to change your grade based on just cut a little hole for your tracks to sit in and start to grade that way and uh, go about it that way. So we're getting up on spring here. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, hit the little bell so you get notified of the new YouTube videos that are coming up and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.